It's buzzing in here ahead of game three. And we'll be back in a minute to get it started. baseball fans and welcome MLB the show brings you the National League Championship Series it's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the San Francisco Giants John Chavi Chris Singleton with you a lot going on in this series as we get ready for game three Siggy well when a team starts a series on the road and comes away with a split the first two games They've essentially taken over home field advantage, so the last thing these guys want to do now is give it right back by dropping this one. And these fans know that just as much as the players. And the atmosphere here is electric, and this figures to be about as intense as postseason baseball gets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. And today on the hill, Alex Wood. What should we keep an eye on here? Very dominant his last time out. Picked up the win. Only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. So just about set. And digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. Leading off for Philadelphia, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And a pitch. That one misses. So we're off and running in game three. First pitch, 7 5 And a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. And a pitch. Hey. Count is one and two. Foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Next nope. pitch misses. Two and two. Looking. And there's one down. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though right, he strikes it. out, he the saw a lot base of base pitches he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Reese Hoskins stands in here, leaves that one down. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. A ball, one strike. So now one and two to Reese. Hoskins pushes it foul. One, two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. In the air, right side. Yastrzemski puts it away. And there are two down. Got him first. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starter some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Bryce Harper takes the ball here as he stands in now. Right side, hard hit. Flores handles. The throw to first. Harper retired. 
That ends the frame. We're midway in inning number one. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. Bottom of the first. And starting this one is Aaron Dola. What do we need to know here about the right hand? Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. Bottom of the first. Here's the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. Leading up for the shot. The second baseman, Wilmer Flores. Here comes the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Outside corner, there's the strike. It's a 1-1. One, one. And that one fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Down on strikes. And there's one away. Tommy Listella to the Batting plate. Second. The designated hitter, Tommy Listella. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 2 1. And that one missing low. Swing and a miss. And the count is filled up. Fouled off again. And it remains 3 and 2. Three, two. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling Batting pretty first. good out there on the mound the first because base. when you think of Red just hit. having a distraction, table no. setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Up to the plate, it's Brandon Belt. Swings through that one, 0-1. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Ball the next two. pitch misses. Yeah, that's ball two. two ball. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. The 3-1. Yeah, and there's ball four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Right here. Mike Yastrzemski right. up here. Yastrzemski. That one's in there, 0-1. Oh, one. At the belt and fire. And it's even up. Oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Next pitch is outside. Two outs.
Bell off of first with two away. Ground ball up the middle. They get the force. Inning over. Giants come up empty in the first. Out of the second from Oracle Park. There's no score on the show. New inning getting started. And now, Brandon Jordan. Leading off to the field. The center fielder, Brandon Jordan. Wood back to work. Just missed. The pitch. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boog, he's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players question the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. That is fit. The catcher, JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto steps in. there and it's 0-1. Second inning here. No score. And a foul ball. Up the middle. And there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Really nice job staying up the middle with his that approach. He didn't try to do too the much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Man at first with one gone. Gene Segura at the plate here. In there for strike one. And the pitch. That one ripped. And that's a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Back to back base that's hits. That's Anytime you rip a line ball. drive the other way, Chris. you feel really Run. good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Chris Bryant now. And first offering is fouled off. No score here in the second. Comes up empty on the swing. Only two now. Well, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release part. The one two. This ball's chopped to the ground and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. One out. Runners at first and second. Got him swinging. Two down. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and Played right into the, the hands of the pitcher. Here's Trevor Story. They say it went. Outside and it's a ball and a strike. First and second, two down. That's pitch downstairs. Now two balls and a strike. And 
next offering is foul back. Two two now. Drive base hit. One run across. Segura flying around third on his way home. He scores as well. It's 2 0. You got to get on your horse and get to that thing and that get it back up. in because he's going to come barrel hit. around first. Nick. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Next offering is down low. One and oh. This one blasted the other way. Down the line. And it's a foul ball. I love how he tracked the ball right there. And was able to get through that fastball. Just a little bit late. Otherwise it stays fair. I think at the top hand is a little stronger same swing produces a home run and now it's even up well you know this guy wants to pitch off something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall but you've got to set your sights down a little bit you can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with swing and a miss and he's down on strikes Good job at damage control right there. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And it's two zip. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's going to be Lamont Wade Jr. No left field. Well, oh, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Fouled off to the right. One hammered back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Batting fifth. The shortstop. Brandon. Here's Brandon Crawford. Crawford. Out to short. Throws the first. Two up, two down. That is seven. The catcher. Joey. Two outs, base is empty. This is Joey Barton. He's looking to hit the ball the other way in 99% of his at-bats. But if you make a mistake middle in, he can touch you up for a four-bagger. One oh. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Kicks and fires. Oh. That misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. And downstairs. Right into the plate. In for a strike, and that is strike one. Righty delivers. In for a strike, and that is strike two. Three balls, two strikes. And here it comes. 
This one to Bryant. Zips it to first. Third out. Giants down in order. They trail it here 2 0. And welcome back. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Leading off to the field, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Going to one. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Nope. Next one misses. And the count even one and one. One and one. The swing and a soft liner. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting, the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And now the lefty. Jack Swing went around. And it's nothing in two. That one drifts inside. The pitch. The punch out there. Out number two. Well, just ripped a page out of the Greg Maddox playbook. Throw that pitch the at the hip and just watch it jump right. back over the inside part Perfect. of the plate. I'll tell you what, you are baffled expecting that to almost hit you and then end up as a called strike. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Bryce Harper. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Why to kick the pitch? That's a hit, and that keeps the inning alive. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. The throw is wild, and it gets away. The center Absolutely field. hammered that baseball very Brand loud hit. coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. So two down, digging in. Brandon Jordan. One's in there, 0 and 1. The strategy of winning a ball game when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So, good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. And it's oh, 1 and 1. Right. Harper stands at second with two gone. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Now a screamer into the outfield. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Runner from second crosses the plate. And they're up by three. And in its second with an RBI double. JT. And it's forward position with two away. And now for the Phillies, JT Real Muto. In there for strike one. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch oh, is inside, right. and the count is one and one. And there's the ball. Next 
first offering is downstairs. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. The hitters count. This to third, and that one finds its way through. Jordan around third. He'll score, and they lead by four. Picks himself up at RBI. He kind of rolled now, over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough Gene. behind it to shoot it through Secure. for a knock, and we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. Single to right at his first trip. And that's in there for strike one. And he deals. Upstairs. And a pitch. Bounce to the right side. To first, Segura out the play. And that'll do it. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Phillies four and the Giants nothing. Back here at Oracle Park, set for the bottom of the third. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. The Giants the in striking eight, distance, okay. but has some work to do. Boog, it starts Longoria. with the leadoff. Man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. Nola back to work. Just oh, off the outside it, edge. Two balls, no strikes to count. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Late with the swing there. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And one out now. Well, I'd say he pretty much had to offer it that one. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Even Batting though it ended up outside the, the zone, it still was close enough to where it looked like it could drop down right on Duggar. that corner and get the call. Last thing you want to do is get punched out by the umpire knowing you could have at least fouled the pitch off and kept the at bat there. Now batting Steven Duggar. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now one and two. And the right hater deals. And that's downstairs and outside. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs that's if we gave you enough advance? Oh, that's, that's a good question. Uh, Wilbur. I think that if they oh, gave yeah. the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. On the ground right side. Four, six, three, double play. And the inning is over. Game three moves on to the fourth.
It's the Phillies four and the Giants nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now it's going to be Chris Bryant of Philadelphia, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. And a pitch. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs and in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Kicks and fires. Ball one there. That pitch was intended to stay inside, but it leaked out over the middle of the plate. Hitter waited on it, and he connected just perfectly. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Now that the shortstop. First Trevor pitch just misses. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Inside, just missed. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. The wind to kick the 2 0. And he takes a strike. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Alex Cobb getting loose out there. Hot shot to third. And it goes just foul. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. And it's filled up. Bell with the shift on, hits right into it. Toss the bell, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Now batting. The designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batting, the left fielder, Kyle. Schwarber. So the batting order turns over, and here's the Phillies' leadoff man, Kyle Schwarber. First offering misses the mark. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. I got one ball, one strike. And the pitch. Swung on, belted. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Kyle Schwarber goes deep, and they boost their lead. It's 6 nothing.
When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity's not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Here comes the manager out of the Giants' dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. Alex Wood departs, and as he heads off, he'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. New pitcher now, Alex Cobb. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so they try to keep it where it is. Alex. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Two outs, nobody on. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. In there, and it's 0-1. pitch that one at the knees for a strike going to now there's a swing and a drive it bangs off the wall throw and it gets away not in time it's a double well, that's just an unacceptable right. error right there. Just kind of lackadaisical right. in getting it back Perfect. into the infield, and there's really no excuse for that. Turned a simple single into a runner in scoring position now. And now, here is Harper. And first offering is fouled off. And on second, two down. He swings and fouls one off. Hoskins on its second with two down. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. Back here in San Francisco, and now the DH, Tommy Listella, leading up for the Giants. Well, every pitcher wants to run support and have the lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. And the 1 0. The bit behind with that swing. Oh, it's strike one. That one finds the zone. And the count 1 and 2. And the righty deals. Stays alive. Left hand batter waits. And the one two misses to even the count. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Now the first baseman, Brandon nine. Bell. Brandon Bell. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot.
Jason Belt goes deep, and they're on the board. It's 6-1. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. It would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Now at the plate, right Mike fielder, Yastrzemski. Number five. And the first five. pitch misses for ball one. Started a little too early. Strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Right hander kicks deals. That's down and in. Two-two. Foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And there's two away. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that the this guy at the plate tends to have trouble ball. with. And there's just so much information in this day and age. Sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Two outs. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. It's a run for the Giants on the solo blast. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. for the start of the inning and stepping in is the speedy Brandon Jordan the center fielder Brandon the right-hander back Jordan. to work ground ball left side Longoria picks it up on the run throw to first one up one down now that catcher JT Real Muto and up to the plate is JT Real Muto First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. And he deals. Swing and a miss. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Righty delivers. It is two and a one. Now, two one. Here comes a pitch. On the ground, right side. And it gets by him. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Just a simple two. ground ball Second the other way. They've had eyes on him, man. Sometimes that's all you Sequoia. need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So digging in, Gene Segura.
And there's a fly ball deep right field. That one back there. Right handed reliever on the ground. Two ball. Good feed. That's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Philly six and the Giants one. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the shortstop. Brandon Croft for the Giants. The shortstop, Brandon. The line the pitch. There's the strike. Next offering misses down and away. The next offering misses. Ball two. And now it's filled up. And here it comes. Out towards right center field. Jordan under it. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. Catcher. Joey. Bart. Joey Bart. The next giant to hit. Pitch and he just misses. And another ball. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Righty to the plate. And now the count filled up three and two. And the right hater deals. And that one ripped to left. He's got it. And there are two outs. Up next to the Giants. The third baseman. Two Evan. outs, bases empty. And up next for the Giants, Evan Longoria. In there for strike one. The pitch. Strike two. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls but at this point he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Good eye right there. The 2-2. Two -two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Giants go down quietly. The lead remains 5. It's 6-1. And welcome back. All set for the top of the 6th. Here's the third baseman, Chris Bryant. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do.
Cobb back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Signs of movement in the Giants bullpen. Zach Littell preparing to come on if needed. The 1-0. That one fouled off. Next offering in the dirt, and it's two and one. That one is absolutely belted. That's bad. Pulls it in on the warning track. The batter, the shortstop, Trevor Story. Here's Trevor Story now. One for two. That hits the dirt. Ball one. The pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. The batter, number four. Designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. Next is the designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Oh, and two now. That one out to right. And he makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the six. It's the Philly six and the Giants one. There we go, bottom six. Stepping in, Steven Duggar. Leading up for the Giants. The center fielder, Steven Duggar. Trying to kick the pitch. That's in for a strike. And a pitch. And that's down it away. I got one ball, one strike. And a 1-1. One, one. And now the count, 1-2 and two after one the swing two. and the miss. And now it's 1-2. and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Clearly try to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Kicks and fires. And a ball evens the count. The pitch. Swings and misses. One gone here. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch. Right now over the part of the plate. Base. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like Lower. to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it. And the deception gets him the K. Back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This one smoked out to left. Schwarber right there to make the grab. Two down. The batter, the designated hitter. Now the number two hitter, Tommy Lestella. First offering misses the mark. In this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at bat, get deep, whatever it takes. Get on first base. Two down, nobody on. Out towards right center. That's well struck. 
a ton of first pitch strikes usually doesn't work out for success but you can never predict baseball Bell off the first with two away next pitch is outside some bullpen action for Philadelphia Connor Brogdon up and loosening in the pen Coonrod warming up as well Here's a 1-1. One, one. Line to left. Schwarber makes the catch, and that'll do it. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. Now a 6-2 ball game. We go to the top of the seventh, and digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. The left field. Kyle Schwarber. And a pitch. That's in there. 4-1. One, one. One, one. Kicks and deals. Fought off foul. And he'll two. Back to the mound. Toss the to bell. Schwarber out of the play. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. First strike one. All ones account. And a pitch. Now one miss. The one one. Ball and there's a ball. The count is two and one. Out to center. Duggar should have this one. And it's caught for the out. The right fielder, number three, Bryce. Carver. Here's Harper in there. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. And the 1-0 misses low. Swing and a miss. 
Now two and one. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Here's Harper at the count two and one. Slow roller to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That's the third out. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They lead it six to two. Seven pennies. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Bailey Falter trying to protect this lead. Number 70. Bailey Falter. Back here at Oracle Park, set for the last half of the seven. Lydia Here's Lamont Wade Jr. No left fielder. Lamont Wade Jr. And the pitch. There's the strike. And now the lefty. Oh, that's out. Gonna count one and two. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. That's back there. Turn in. Look at that one. He's gone. Lamont Wade Jr. leaves the yard. And they close the gap. It's 6 3. on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. And digging in for San Francisco, Brandon Crawford. The batter number 35. Shortstop. Brandon. And he swings and misses Crawford. at the initial offering. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And he deals. Liner, base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a cookie now down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Now it's the Giants catcher, Joey Bart. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to know. Routed to third, could be two. Quick feed to second for one. On to Hoskins. Double play. Now battle. The third baseman. Evan Longoria. So up next, Evan Longoria. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two outs. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first, Longoria retires. Out number three. The Giants get one back with the solo shot. It's now 6 3. Dogs wanna bark and hounds wanna howl. I'm feeling big down, wanna throw in the towel. Back here.
back here at the ballpark at the top of the eighth. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies, Brandon Jordan. The center fielder, Brandon Jordan. The wind of the pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And that's in for a strike. Here comes the pitch. On a line, base hit. Well, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Now Off the bat, that one registered at 105 18. miles per hour, man. That is smoking. And these days, you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. You can drive a ball like that. More often than not, you're picking up a knock. And now it is JT Real Muto. And the 1 0. Yeah. There's a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. At the belt and fires. Hey. Here's a strike. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one gone. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he the takes it. Pretty textbook Second pitching. Basis. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. First pitch just misses. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. There's the ball. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, in the postseason, I'd say we see more teams playing for one run, trying to apply some pressure, and that's exactly the case right here. Speed on the bases, put him in motion, and it worked out. Now time to execute in the batter's box. Hit hard, base hit. Jordan coming home. He scores. It's 7-3. to three. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner now steal back. second base, get in the into scoring base. position, come through with the base knock, run. and add a run. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here for the fourth time tonight. And that one in the air center field. Douglas makes the catch. And it's two down. Now batting the shortstop, Trevor. And now here is Trevor Storm. One for three. First off ring misses the mark. Runner leads away at second. And fouled off. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it's through for a hit. And they hold him at third, 90 feet away with two out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Nick Castellanos stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And 
the righty deals. Top of the zone for a called strike. Segura on third. Story at first. Two out of the inning. Line drive. Douglas racing over to make the catch. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Phillies seven and the Giants three. Sam Kunra taking over on now the mound. And this minutes. guy can bring it velocity-wise. Sam Kunra. Back here in San Francisco. And now the center fielder, Steven Duggar. The center fielder, Steven Duggar. The wind of the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Next one is off the plate. And now it's even one and one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Connor Brogdon up and throwing. The wind of the pitch. Move. He never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And here it comes. Fouls one off. Two and two. Just missed. Righty delivers. Got it. Now one away. Oh, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. Now it's just a good day as a the manager or as a pitching coach. Really can hand the ball off for multiple Four arms. Man. Get stability from all of their performances. So the lineup flips over. Here's the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. That one's in there, 0 and 1. In the air, left field. Schwarber in position. Calls it in, and there's two away. Now batting, the designated hitter, Tommy. Two so out, base is empty. Next will be the Giants' DH, Tommy Lestella. He's already homered here in this one. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. And the right-hander deals. And that's downstairs and outside. The 2-1. And it's fouled away. The pitch stays alive. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Giants are down one, two, three. Deficit remains at four. It's seven, three. So a lefty out of the bed, Harleen Garcia. Number 66, Harleen Garcia. 
Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. And a pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. Pitch. Strike two. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. That misses. Now one and two. Kicks and fires. And now the count is even. Kicks and deals. Hopped up on the left side of the infield. Longoria towards the line looking up makes a one-handed catch boy that was a hanging the breaking ball right there 17. I think he tried to do a little bit Reese. too much sometimes oh, those eyes can get really big I think his swing broke down as well and that's what caused him to pop it up stepping in the long ball threat Reese Hoskins and that's in there for strike one Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Zach Littell getting ready to go. And a pitch. That's inside. Swing and a pop-up. Flores moving under this one makes the catch and there's two down the right fielder number three Bryce Harper two outs base is empty Bryce Harper to the plate there and it's on one well I say it's the best pitch in baseball strike one you get ahead on a good hitter as well he's a little bit more confidence to move to the attack left hand batter waits nope. and takes low for ball one, one, ball, one strike. and now two and one after that missed inside And a 2 1 on the way. And it's strike two. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. And a foul ball. One is lifted in the air. And one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Put a pretty good swing on that Good one man. as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. New arm out of the bullpen, Zach Littell. A runner up second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Number 46, Zach Littell. So, man aboard, 
Brandon Jordan now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Ball one there. Two outs and one in scoring position. That's the third. Longoria to first. That's out number three. Part of the order, three, four, five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Phillies seven and the Giants three. On the mound now, Connor Brogdon. And he'll work on holding this lead. Back here at Oracle Park, and here is Brandon Bell. Leading up for the Giants, the first baseman, Brandon Bell. And the pitch. And ball one. Here's the strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. The pitch. And there's the strike. One ball, two strikes. One and two now. Good eye right there. Pitch. Foul ball there. Two two down. And that's outside. And a three two. Little chopper rolls foul. Right handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Mike is strengths next the Giants. next giant to hit. The right fielder. Mike. Yes. Yes. First pitch, and he just misses. Movement in the bullpen. Kyle Gibson, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Check swing, but he went too far. And one and one. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. One, two now. And this is inside. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive.
Right-hander kicks deals. And now it's filled up. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Next offering is fouled back. Three and two now. Shoots a line drive single into right center. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. So Singy, let's dive into the numbers courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Righty to the plate. Yeah. Yastrzemski at first, one gone. Next pitch misses, and a count two and one. Straighten him up a little bit. Outside. And he deals. And a foul ball. comes a pitch got him swinging he chased the change up two away he came out of his mechanics there typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way but that's no time number 30 little five. anxious Short stop. Brandon Grupper. Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game he has a great slider with tons of movie And now the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. That one hit to right. Harper has this one sized up. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies take home field advantage right back. They win game three to go up 2-1. to one. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at 1-1 one and one because you put yourself up. Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Nice win today. Seven three is how this one ends. Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long.